Well, we're getting in the latest right now. Congress once again tries to communalize uh, Vikas Dubey's encounter. We're given to understand that this is the latest coming in from the Congress parliamentarian Hussein Dalwai, who said that most of the time Muslims and Dalits are killed in encounters. But since a Brahmin was uh, killed, there is so much of noise and chaos. This encounter is not justified. Listen in to what the Congress parliamentarian had to say. इस तरह का जो हो रहा है बिल्कुल गलत बात है एक और बात कहूँगा अभी तक जो बड़े पैमाने पे इनकाउंटर हुए वो मुसलमानों के और दलितों के हुए हैं पहली बार एक ब्राह्मण मारा गया है इसलिए बड़ा गड़बड़ी हो गई है पूरा देश इसके ऊपर चर्चा करने लगा है और मैं आपको बोलूँ इससे योगी राज जी को गद्दी खाली करनी पड़ेगी बीजेपी को लाइन लेनी पड़ेगी well, once again, the Congress party tries to communalize this entire issue. This at a time that their own ally, Shivasena, has basically supported this entire encounter. Let me go across to our political editor, Ishwarya Kapoor, for the latest. Ishwarya, well, many have already raised this question about the encounter, but Congress party has went a step ahead trying to communalize this entire matter. Seven gangster is a gangster. We've had the top cop of the UP stating... Uh, that uh, there is no need for these uh, politicals to make it uh, uh, to make it a caste issue, to make it about religion. But uh, that is exactly what's been happening. They first questioned the police, then they are now making it a political issue. At the end of the day, it is this gangster who killed eight police officers, even chopped off legs of a senior police functionary. So this is something which they're all forgetting. He was not at all human. The kind of uh, and the kind of irregularity he had amassed wealth more than 500 crores properties in more than 12 countries. That is what's coming out now. And these political parties just trying to earn political brownie points are, are now trying to make it a caste issue, are now trying to make it a religion issue. Then the fact of the matter remains it's a pure law and order issue. Eight police officers were killed. What would have they wanted? That the, that the concerned state police would have just stayed and then looked at it. An interstate manhunt was launched and then in that, at the end of the day, encounter happened. Yes. If things would have turned on the other way, if, if more info could have flown, that would have been better. But at the end of the day, to question and to make it a political issue is wrong. By this, you are trying to give those very points to the other anti-social elements. And this is something which Congress Party, at least, which has ruled the state of UP also, though, zillion years ago, but has been in power, in center as well, for a long time, should understand that what is ideologically wrong within the Congress Party, that every time they are standing at the wrong side. Why? And now you have another Congress leader doing this. And as you said, Shaman, even Sheikh Sena, which is in alliance with the, uh, with the Congress in the state of Maharashtra, has backed this and said, yes, zero tolerance towards gangsters, zero tolerance towards any anti-social element who tries to disturb the, the, uh, the law and order situation of any state, Shaman. Despite that, just in that one-upmanship, just try to earn those political brownie points if you'll try and support these anti-social elements, these dreaded gangsters. Shaman, imagine he had chopped off legs of a police officer killed eight police officers and was about to burn their bodies if the other backup team would not have arrived. Yes, his political connections with Khaki and Khadi need to be found out, need to be looked into, and that's exactly what's happening as we speak. Properties in 12 countries, more than 500 crores a month. What exactly was happening here? And if such a man has been shot, because he fired a shot first on UP police, you have a hole for all. But then on the Palgar issue, when two saints are brutally killed and mobbling, no one of these... Uh, uh, none of these political parties raise a question. The fact remains that they have their, priority, uh, their priorities in misplaced, and they have not understanding that a gangster has been killed. And that's exactly what the UP top cop is also saying. Do not make it political. Do not make it a caste issue. Do not make it a, a, a religion-based issue, Shaman. This is completely and completely a law and order problem. Shaman. Thank you very much, Ashwarya, for putting this into perspective, not just trying to communalize this entire matter, but what the Congress essentially is trying to do is inject the caste angle, which in itself is a condemnable. At the same time, many would say that you're free to essentially raise questions about the veracity of this entire encounter. But to bring in the caste and communal angle, that is something that is completely deplorable. And as Ashwarya was also pointing out, that... At the end of the day, we're talking about a gangster who's had about 60 cases that have been registered against him. Listen in to what the Congress parliamentarian had to say and also the reaction that has basically come in 
from the Uttar Pradesh police as far as allegations that have been leveled against them regarding fake encounter.